Hey guys, Real Spartan here, and I've decided to go for the hag in this episode of Dark's Dungeon. This is possibly the best idea I've ever had, or the worst idea I've ever had. Uh, more likely the latter. So, we've got Faith, who uh, doesn't really have any quirks that improve her chances of killing the hag, but she has a Bleed Amulet and Warrior's Bracer. I'm going to be using it if it bleeds a lot, so Bleed Amulet is kind of worth it in the uh, long run, considering that we don't have many other damage trinkets. I mean, look at everything else we have. It was either bleed, amulet, or like heavy boots or something like that. So, uh, or Eldritch Slayer's Ring, which doesn't help against the hag, so I'm not going to uh, bother using it. Abomination, I'm stacking double stun trinkets on him because the hag has like 100% stun resist, but Manacles with a 60% boost has like 179% stun chance, so that's like an almost an 80% chance to stun the hag. Even though she takes two turns, it would be good to take one of them off. Grave Robber. I have really no trinkets to put on a Grave Robber because I have no, like, damage-specific trinkets. And her range skills are accurate enough, so I just put a Seer Stone and the Martyr's Seal on because I might as well attempt to use this, like, more of an insurance scheme than a actually trying to use it for its effect, like, of damage and crits. Mostly just to increase the death blue resist. And Boneth who is our uh, occultist, just rocking Junior's head and Shirodin's charm for more healing skills because not really accurate with a level 0 unit. Probably shouldn't bring it against the hag, but hey, you never know, we might win. Am I taking too many provisions? Uh, not really. I had collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. Yes, uh, repeated calls to the house. I bet she looked better than that, but then again, how would she get so much cellulite in her arms there that quickly? method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. Am I dropping frames? It looks like I'm dropping frames. I can't wait for my new uh, computer, then I won't have to worry about dropping frames, because I won't be, because it would be, like, my new computer is too powerful, generally, to drop frames, on Darkest Dungeon at least. It's going to be powerful enough to play The Witcher 3 without lag, so that's how powerful it's going to be. That's not really a, a, a metric measurement, but still, you get the general idea about how good that's going to be. I might record Witcher 3 if like people want it, but if not, I'm going to be playing it anyway, so uh, yeah. Demon's Pull wouldn't be bad here, I mean, we'd get a stumbling scratch off this guy. By the way, I did put camping skills on my units, apart from the Occultist, I haven't like, changed anything for him. I should use a torch, because uh, not using a torch benefits me uh, in no way. So we get Barbaric Yop here, because I want to take turns off this thing. A flashing dagger would be excellent here because it would most likely kill this guy. No? Okay, it still does pretty good damage though. Yeah, Weakening Curse kills her in two turns time. So Beast's Bile would be pretty good if he gets his turn off before this Cold Sprawler. Stumbling Scratch does little to nothing. And there we go. Both these guys are dead, I just have to focus on this one. Because he's going to be taking six and then another six. And, um, you know what? I'll use Adrenaline Rush. Hey, cured the one stress she had. The Occultist is most likely the uh, focus of the uh, stress we need to be healing. Because he's level 0, he's going to be taking extra stress damage as they do, and he has lower stats. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Pick to the face. A lot of people don't like using Pick to the face either, but I'm not known for using uh, community popular strats. I want to get an absolute no no uh, adrenaline rush off on the Hellion. Of course, not going to crit like last time, but still, it's good. Just a little bit of HP and manacles. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Manacles, pretty good stun move. I wish it had a higher stun base, but then again, that would probably make the abomination way too overpowered. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I'm going to start eating this food because uh. We have 26 food, and we definitely do not need that much. 
despite the fact this is a long trek all the way over to this room, like, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, it's definitely up there. In case you did not know, bosses are always in the room that is the furthest away from you. It doesn't usually help when the boss rooms are, like, the two furthest rooms away are the exact same distance. Like, if the room stopped here, like, there was no this room, so it would be 5-5. Five, five. It could have been either of these, so it's not like, 1, 2, 3, oh, it can't be here. It has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because it's not as the crow flies. I haven't heard that phrase being said since, like, primary school. You squid punishment. Except that is definitely not what he says. I don't know why Bear Taffy said that. He probably actually doesn't listen to what the madman tried to say, like, a uh, demons fell horrors in your death. But then again, he's too busy making better commentary than I am. Is his commentary better than mine? I do not know. Okay, so he's taking three bleed damage, he's not going to die right now. Unless we get Beast Spile off before he takes his turn, which is, it's possible. I have one less speed with my Abomination than he has. So there's a chance. Could also get flashing daggers off. Oh, I guess not. Doomsay. The end is coming! I knew it! And that I knew it joke was not the darkest dungeon I knew it joke, it is the Hearthstone I knew it joke, which is not actually a thing because Hearthstone has better memes than Darkest Dungeon. But then again, Darkest Dungeon doesn't have four mana seven sevens. Oh! That's a joke. I'm actually kind of surprised that landed. How high is the chance on Weaken Curse? Oh, it's okay, it's just 100 at level 1. That's actually still pretty good. So I'm gonna bleed these guys out because they're stupid 33% protection for level 1 enemies. They keep critting the damn abomination. We better have lots of uh, stress healing skills at camp, because I didn't check that. I mostly checked on specialization quirks. Okay, he has Abandoned Hope, which is good. I could also... Uh, Gallows humor, but that's a like a gamble. And again, gambles are sometimes worth it. Okay, so this guy's dead. You just need to take out this one. Stacking up weakening curse is not a bad idea. It does no damage, but it's still a good idea. Also won't prevent crits, but still, it's a good idea. And if I keep saying it's a good idea, you may actually listen to me. Even though lots of people listen to me. If I had a dollar for every time someone has posted my content on the uh, Darkest Dungeon subreddit, like, I have a lot of people saying, oh my god, check out this cool video, and stuff like that, or, oh, I f forgot there was this video here that someone made, that I forgot what it is, who made it, can someone link it to me? Um, I have, like, this much gold. Spartan, what are you talking about? Dollars is not gold coins. Yes, it is. In Australia, it is. You filthy Americans. <laughs> That's kind of a joke between me and Dem. Then again, what isn't a joke between me and Dem? Nature I don't herself. know. You wouldn't know either. So why am I asking you? Jeez, viewer, get it together. Okay, so we do not have holy water to use on this tentacle idol. Kind of wish we did. Of course I wish we did, because that's a free quirk removal. And run for the old gods, like... I don't know why this move does, like, so little damage. It's like a big spike directly to your face. That would most likely kill. Okay, so let's stun this damn fungal scratcher, because I don't want one of these going... Mark on the abomination, and then kill. Command. Let's weaken the fungal artillery for really no reason in particular, other than the fact it won't deal like 3-3 three, three here. Okay, 1. If he had 1 protection, then uh, that would have done 0. We can stun this guy. We could probably blight. Yeah, you know what? I'll go for a double blight. Because padlock of transference is uh, really good. So you're taking 3. You're taking three. You're taking nine. If only I had breakthrough, but I took that off to put if it bleeds on. Okay, so this one's dead. Uh, how much damage do I need to kill? 
I will I accidentally clicked so I wouldn't know. I guess it was eight. So a maximum hit would have killed, but it didn't. I would have done it anyway. And render the marked. Because I forgot that she got marked. Oh hi Mark. I haven't actually watched the room, and I have no intentions on doing so anytime soon. Shame on you. Has anyone seen that video? It's like Tommy Wiseau's room promotional video. I'm not a big movie fan. I have not seen any movies for years, honestly. At least three years, I think it is. Or maybe it was two when I went to see um, Unfriended with a few friends. It was probably like two years. Yeah, it was probably two years ago. I don't know when that happened. No, wait, hang on, I'll backtrack. This year was. What did we do this year? Oh, yeah, oh, did we just had a. Okay, well, it was two years ago. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Mm, abomination, you have like a. Okay. I was doing that with the abomination because there's a chance it'll still remove a negative quirk. It's just that. Holy water guarantees it. So yeah, I literally haven't seen any movies in two years. Any movies that have come out in that time. I haven't even seen Deadpool, which I know I should see because apparently it's freaking awesome, but I just haven't had the uh, enthusiasm to go see a movie. And you missed Grave Robber. I, I shouldn't be surprised because you're trying to hit a madman, but still, he's 20 dodge at level 1. Okay, so that's a three. Should I gamble it and try and go for a beast pile next turn? Phone, shut up. My phone hasn't gone off in like 20 episodes of anything. Which is good. It's good that my phone isn't going off, but it's kind of concerning. Like, why isn't it going off? Maybe I'm just not popular. Do not resolve check the occultists before we camp. I mean, you're free to after camp because then uh, it'll be like my fault. But still, I don't want him afflicted. So, a, a uh, thrown dagger plus if it bleeds will most likely kill. If if it bleeds hits, which it should, act yeah, it actually has a higher chance to hit than it doesn't. Or as uh, it would probably be said, higher chance to hit than to miss. It's triple the chance actually. Actually, it has even more than that, because 90% equals 100%. So I was only 15% chance to miss. Or was I? I don't know. The math in this game is weird. Like, I don't know if 89% is 10% chance to... Like, 11% chance to miss, or 1% chance to miss. It's probably 11% chance to miss, but... I don't know. I have no, uh... Nobody knows what that, what like, ex how exactly it works, except for Maester Silvio, probably. You could go ask him because I like am at odds with Maester Silvio for reasons that uh, involve Pitch Black Dungeon. Spoiler alert: I don't like it for many reasons, mostly the economy. But still, uh, yeah. What was I talking about? Logic in the game, yeah. Silvio is like a developer or something for Red Hook, so... He would know. He has access to the files. I don't. Like, no one does. Yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious Wayne June probably doesn't. Yeah, just take the crap. Why'd I bring this many torches? Nah, it was, it was, it was right of me to bring this many torches. Uh, one fight before the hag... Um, now you know what, we'll camp here. Because we can ca use buffs here, like there's not going to be three fights in this hallway, so... Or maybe, or two, and an ambush. So, yeah. We'll use our buffs. Need to abandon hope. Gallows humor wouldn't be bad. It would be a, a gamble, but it will be a good gamble. Mmm, perfect. Just right. Absolutely wonderful. So now the occult is down to 34 stress. Um, sharpened spear is not bad at all. Uh, Psychop is pretty terrible. 
it used to be a lot better. It used to be um, three time for plus twenty five percent damage, and uh, I believe it was plus twenty percent stress damage received instead of just plus twenty stress. So you could remove it with medicinal herbs. What else do we want? Uh, dark ritual is useless. Pilfer, like what could we get from that? Wound care, no one's like wounded. Courage, I could do battle trance. But then again, the uh, she's probably not going to be in the front slot a lot, and I don't have the medicinal herbs to cure it. So let's encourage uh, Pilfer. Yeah, we got another damn torch. No one's got disease, so no reason to do anything like that. Oh yeah, Snuffbox takes two time now. I forgot. Snuffbox used to take one time. It used to only cure diseases for her as well. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Actually, she used to not have Snuffbox at all. She used to have a... I believe it was called Forage, which had a 50% chance to generate food for you. Which uh, was more useful back in the old days. No one used it still, but it was a thing. Westway Squid Punishment. Decimated. Absolutely disgusting of you. I'm surprised that that actually rounded up. Usually these skills round downwards, but I guess 11 is a full number. Yeah, because buffs work weird in this game. You don't need me to explain how weird this game's math is. I've already talked about how weird it is. I guess since it's a full number, like, it's not like, oh, plus 50% is, uh, it rounds up your showings of things. The number shown is rounded up. So, uh, since 11 is a full number, it would be adding 5.5, .5, and that rounds up due to, uh, reasons. So I guess it would round up to 16. The math doesn't work sometimes, but then again, yeah. I should really quit bitching about the math in this game. It's not like I'm a grade A math student. I have a story about my uh, high school math classes, but I want to save that for its own video because that was a really good story. So, uh, what should I talk about now? Well, we're almost to the hag fight, we just have to go through this door and uh, then we're gonna practically be there. Might as well heal off the five stress that the Abomination has. And negative 60% damage, because you can't have negative 90% damage at the same time through just one unit, unless it's like done with a lot of weird speed things. And uh, yeah, just kill with manacles and pick to the face. My throat is really dry, there's like no drink in the house, like right now. I hate it. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzy fall. I can't drink water, it's like too weird and bittery and they put fluoride in the damn water. Why do they have to do that? Ugh. So yeah, the, the only stuff I drink at like in my life is like soda, or soft drink as we say here, uh, cordial, like apple juice and junk like that. I drink more apple juice than you probably would in a week, and like in a day. Um, effigy. This is a chance at giving a positive quirk, but it's also a chance of a, a negative quirk. You know what, I'll risk it. Nope, it's lost. It can also give you bleed. I tried to use gold. So, my Yop is going to be completely useless in this fight, so let's put back on breakthrough just so she can move forwards. Please, surprise. Twisted and maniacal, a slathering testament to the powers of corruption. So we're gonna start with Throne Dagger, of course, because Pick to the Face is like, there's no reason to use it over Throne Dagger at this stage. Into the pot for the Hellion. We want to get her out. So maybe Nicolson wasn't the best idea. I should have got Sacrificial Stab, honestly. Season of Perfection. That is a debuff of damage and accuracy. That is not good. So, going to have to transform. Probably the best unit to take into the pot would be the Grave Roller. Perfect number. It's a plus damage for two rounds, which is okay. Like, I don't know, like, there's no specific reason why you need that. We can probably ignore the uh, pot and hit the hag now. He has like 10 turns worth of damage with the occult that he can take before he goes on death's door. 
He's a level zero too, so I honestly don't care that much if he dies. Stacking bleed would be good here. I mean, we're going to have to use this to hit the hag anyway. Anyone remember back when if it bleeds used to not have like a damage modifier, so it was like always 100%. It was really good back in those days. Can this crit? No, deal eight, which is okay though. How many turns has that been? One, two, three, four, five. So that's like he's on nine health, I think. Okay, the hag should be dead soon. Okay, so he's on seven. He's on five now, I think. You're on five or three now. So one hit would kill. Okay, there we go. He's on one or three, so it doesn't matter. He should take no stress from Death's Door. Okay, I miscounted. Hey, there we go. He's fine. Let's eat the food. Because we need inventory space. So, Virtuous Chalice, it's pretty bad. Because we have, like, much better things. Deteriorating Bracer isn't bad if you are good with control game. Like, it's plus 10 dodge for free if you're in good circumstances. Only downside to it is, if things go badly, then you're going to be at a disadvantage. It doesn't get you out of a tight spot. Yep, nice. 12 extra deeds. Well, just 12 deeds, I guess. But this should be enough to upgrade the blacksmith. We also get more level 3s. And Naplock gets Cephalus. Wonderful. It's Wheel Tactician, which also would have been useful at the start. Feel. That should help greatly. With extra armor, we should be able to take down level 3 missions with ease. Oh no, it's Reynolds' brother, Mortagne, who also has Kleptomaniac, and also has Mercurial, so he's like the worst Crusader ever. Never taking him. Next episode, probably gonna go grab his immunity mask from the uh, wheel, so we'll be going back into the wheel. Today was a pretty successful mission. So, yep, off screen I'm going to go upgrade everyone's junk. So, yep, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.